Okay, Sandy, uh, let's start off with the simple question. Why Michael Kadir? Well, Michael's uh, an outstanding, prof just a professional hitter and somebody I think that can uh, sit right in the middle of our lineup. Uh, we've gotten a little left-handed over the last year or so. Um, he's going to help us against left-handed pitching, but uh, on an everyday basis, just another quality hitter in our lineup. You mentioned against the lefties, and he's such a versatile guy. can also play some first base in addition to the outfield. With the way that Lucas Duda struggled against left-handed hitters, is he also kind of an insurance to that, maybe platooning him at first base sometimes? Well, he certainly can play first base, and that, that's always a possibility. Um, but, you know, we'll see. He can play both corner outfield positions. He could play a little third base um, and first base. So we've, we've got a lot of uh, flexibility there. And... Um, you know, if we decide to sit Lucas from time to time, he'll be able to fill in there. Historically, you guys have been somewhat hesitant to sign players that have been given qualifying offers, not wanting to give up that first-round pick. What does it say about the state of this team right now that you were willing to give up the 15th overall pick this year to sign Michael Kadir? Well, you, you know, I said uh, on a number of, time, number of occasions last year that we were close, and I think that's what we believe. Um, so, uh, you know, we don't like giving up first-round picks. Uh, we've been careful about that in, in past years. But uh, first of all, you know, we're at a time now where we think the team can take uh, a large step forward. And secondly, uh, looking at the trade market, um, a similar player, uh, perhaps not nearly as accomplished or, or uh, uh, of the profile that we like, was going to cost us prospects. And uh, we like our prospects. A draft pick is a prospective prospect. We'll, take, we'll, we'll keep the guys that we have right now, and, and of course, that gives us uh, room to do some other things as well. Well, just, that's what I was going to ask next, room to do some things. From the outside, anyway, people have looked and said, a left fielder and a shortstop, and, and they should be set going into next year. Mm -hmm. You've got the left fielder, the added outfielder now. Does this allow you more flexibility in terms of possibilities at shortstop, hanging on to those prospects, maybe for a deal in that regard? Well, it... it uh, you know, it, it <clears throat> puts one need uh, to rest. And so now we can focus on a couple of other things. But, you know, the nice thing about our club, I think, is that we don't have that many big holes to fill. Uh, it's very different today than it was uh, two or three years ago. And so I think that, uh, you know, we'll be careful. One of the reasons we did this early was because, um, you know, we felt that uh, Michael be, might be off the market as of 5 o'clock this afternoon. And so... Um, we went ahead and, and made the deal in advance, and we're, we're happy we did. Is there any worry about the fact that he only played 49 games last year? Well, there's always a concern that uh, someone who played 48, you know, won't be able to play 148 the following year. But, you know, both of his injuries were uh, acute injuries. They're not chronic. It's not uh, um, arthritis in the knee or what have you. Uh, so in, in that sense, uh, look, he's a little older, and so we'll have to be a little bit careful. But uh, his medicals came through uh, uh, very well, and, and uh, so we don't think there's any lingering concern or problem uh, related to his injuries last year. And finally, Sandy, we know about Michael Kadire and David Wright and the yeah, friendship right. and growing up together. What did David tell you about Michael, and have you spoken to him yet? How excited is he about this? Yeah, David and I have, have kept in touch. Uh, and, and, again, I think David uh, in this instance was probably a, a good advocate for us. But, um, you know, we didn't make this deal on the basis of David's friendship with Michael. That's, that's a plus. It's an extra. It's gravy. But from our standpoint, Michael fills a real need for us, and we think he's going to be terrific on the field and, and another real positive character in the clubhouse. Sandy, thanks so much. Okay.